Varus and Tyrion explore marine in disguise in order to locate the sons of the harpy. Encountering a starving woman and her child, Tyrion offers her some money, though due to his awful Valyrian, she believes he intends to eat her baby until Varys assures her this is not the case. Pressing on, they contemplate the situation in Marine before witnessing a red priest preaching to former slaves to fight for their freedom instead of waiting for Daenerys. Determining that the sons are organized under a leader, Varys assures Tyrion it is only a matter of time before his little birds find this person. Suddenly, they come across several Miranese running away from something. Investigating, Varys is shocked to find that the sons have burned Daenerys' fleet of ships in the harbor. Back inside the Great Pyramid, Varys asks Grey Worm if the Unsullied are searching for the person who burned the Miranese fleet and informs Tyrion that Astapor and Yunkai have returned to the slave trade. He then accompanies Tyrion to the Dragon Pit at the latter's suggestion and witnesses him freeing Viserion and Rhaegal. Once the dragons have been unchained, Varys quickly leaves the catacombs with Tyrion, who asks the eunuch to punch him at his next crazy idea. Later, Varys interrogates Vala, a prostitute in league with the Sons of the Harpy, who personally betrayed and murdered members of the Unsullied and Second Sons. In exchange for her cooperation, he promises her and her son safe passage on a ship bound for Pentos and a bag of silver to start anew. Once the information has been obtained, Varys informs Tyrion, Masande, and Grey Worm that the masters of Astapor, Yunkai, and even Volantis are collectively funding the Sun's rebellion. Tyrion then asks Varys to contact his little birds in all three cities in order to arrange a meeting with the masters. A few days later, Varys witnesses the arrival of the masters in Marine along with Tyrion, Grey Worm, and Masande, and attends the meeting with them, remaining silent throughout. The pact is successful, and two weeks later, Varys informs Tyrion that Marine has begun to stabilize, though Tyrion reminds him they must mention Daenerys' involvement in their success, and suggests asking someone who can't be easily bribed or manipulated. When Varys asks where they will find this man, Tyrion responds with the eunuch's own question, who said anything about him. The person of interest is Kinvara, the high red priestess of Volantis and first servant of the Lord of Light. To Tyrion's surprise, she readily agrees to help Daenerys and her allies, fully convinced that Daenerys is the prince that was promised. Varys is skeptical, however, and points out that the same promise was made to Stannis Baratheon, who was eventually defeated and killed. Kinvara simply admits that people make mistakes and quickly silences Varys with the knowledge of his castration. Despite Varys's distrust, Kinvara agrees to spread the word about Daenerys and assures the eunuch he has nothing to fear from her. Several weeks after Tyrion's agreement with the masters, Varys and Tyrion walk through a repopulated marine. Despite Varys's continued distrust of the Red Priests, they have been able to draw both former masters and freedmen back into the fold by preaching that Daenerys is the chosen one of their prophecies. With the situation in marine under control, Varys decides to return to Westeros where he will seek out allies who would support Daenerys when she returns to claim the Iron Throne. Tyrion accompanies his friend to the docks where they part, although the spymaster still warns him about the Red Priests whom he decries as fanatics. Some months later, when Olena Tyrell accepts an invitation from Elaria Sand to Sunspear to discuss the possibilities of an alliance against Cersei in the wake of the Sept of Baelor's destruction and the resultant deaths of Marjorie, Loras and Mace Tyrell, Varys reveals himself as the true architect of the alliance, which is in fact to provide a domestic beachhead for Daenerys's return. When Daenerys finally sets sail for Westeros she has the combined might of Dornay, the Reach and most of the Iron Fleet, along with her Unsullied, Dothraki, and Dragons. Varys stands aboard Daenerys's flagship with her, Tyrion and Masande, having finally met his new queen and pledged his loyalty. With dragons flying in the skies, the war for Westeros is now ready to begin.